Hello, my name is Che. Welcome. Um, for, I'm from Northeastern University, and today we're going to talk about optimization on the Stiefel manifold, or also known as the orthogonality constraint. Orthogonality constraint. So um, let's say we want to solve some uh, optimization problem, right? To stand the optimization, we want to find the x that minimizes this function, right? So we want to find some x, and that's for unconstrained. But of course, today we're going to have some kind of constraint on x, what the possible x could be. And that constraint is going to be called orthogonality constraint which implies this. Now, this is called um, also called a Stiefel manifold in its simplest case, which essentially we just have a vector and a vector. And these two vectors, when we multiply together, we got the scalar version of identity matrix, which is a one. As you can see over here, when you multiply to itself, transpose, you get a one. Now, in you know multiple columns, now we have like two columns, right? Multiplied by its own uh, transpose. Of course, in this case, we're going to get an identity matrix like this. So, our problem: we can't just pick any x. We must pick an x. This such that this constraint is also satisfied. But of course, this constraint complicates things. Mostly uh, because this constraint here is not a convex constraint. Now, a convex constraint, things that convex, like let's say you have a set of possible solutions. Yeah, this here is a set of possible solutions. Something is, the set is convex. If you can pick any two dot and draw a line, and anywhere along the line, it's still on the set. So like picture everything inside this circle as the realm of possible solutions. And if you can pick any two point within two possible solutions, draw a line and still have everything on the line as a potential solution, then that is convex. Now, I'm going to assume that most people watching this video already knows the definition of convexity. But just in case, here I'll give you an example. Let's say over here we have everything inside this rectangle is a potential solution. So no matter what two point you pick, you draw a line, it's always, always going to be um, still within the rectangle. And so this is a convex set. And uh, the universal symbol for convex set is a smiley face because convexity really makes things easier. Now, if we have another uh, possible set of solutions, let's say the set of solution is like a U. Of course, you are able to pick two points and draw a line, and the line is still inside the U completely, but not for anything. It is possible for you to put pick these two points and notice how this portion, this portion is outside of the realm of possible solutions. So in this case, this is not a convex set. And universal symbol for that is a sad face, mostly because uh, convexity just makes life so much easier. So if we look at the Stiefel manifold, Right, this orthogonality constraint, which uh, let's pick a very simple example. Right, we have x transpose x equals to one. Now, oh yeah, I wrote it here. Now, if we multiply them down, we get something like this. So, if we were to plot this out, we essentially will get a circle. So anything on this circle is a possible solution. Not what's inside or not what's outside. It has to be on the circle. So for example, like if we pick this point, notice how if we pick this point, when you have 0, 1 times 0, 1 transpose, we got a 1. 
or we pick this point. One zero times one zero equals to one. So any point along the circle, like the other points here, we pick that, notice how we still get a one. So this x transpose x equals to one holds as long as we're on the circle. But over here, for example, right, maybe one, 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 one. Now, if you have one, one, it would look like this, one, 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 which is equal to two, which does not equal to one. Okay, so this point violates, violates the constraint. So I think I've made it very clear it has to be on the circle. Now, if we pick two possible solutions and draw a line between them, obviously this line is not on the circle. For example, if we pick this point right, right here, it, it doesn't equal to one doesn't equal to one. So since most of our optimization theory is based on convex sets, like convexity has very clean mathematical approaches to solve them. So Stiefel manifold, this like orthogonality constraint um, is like a Facebook. I like to call it Facebook relationship status. Well, it's complicated. So yet yeah, this type of problem is pretty common in machine learning. So for example, I do research in machine learning specifically on the concept of perception, perspective, yeah, per perception. I'll give you an example. If you have some data and you ask somebody to give you a pattern that they see, they might see some pattern. Of, but with humans, it is possible that if you ask another person, it's going to give you some other pattern. Of course, a third person might give you yet another pattern. This tells you that people may be, may be looking at the same thing, but they're going to see very different things. And with data, that is also possible. So like, we all have seen the psychology example. Um, here is a comic I drew on a turn of facts. This guy sees a nine. This guy sees a six. Uh, of course, it's a famous dress. Uh, if you haven't seen the famous dress, just ask 10 people what the color of the dress is. And you might get different answers. So my research worked with simulating this aspect of perspective shift. So I do things such as here's, here's some data. And I ask the data, uh, the algorithm, the algorithm I work with, to come up with some pattern. So the first pattern they see is this. And then I could ask my algorithm to look at the data again as if there's somebody else. And then suddenly they see a different pattern. Um, so long story short, like the, store, the, the formula that I work with is actually quite complicated because this is this the orthogonality constraint that we're going to talk about today, and we don't. I don't even have convex, so this is not convex, and this is not convex to solve. So it's it's quite complicated problem. So today we're going to learn how to uh, solve this problem, and I think in the next video we will continue from here. Thank you.